Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, brethren. Hello, hello, hello. I trust you're doing fine. It's been a while. I've, I've done a video like this. Um, I've got a burden this day. I've got a burden, a huge burden. Um, I'm kind of frustrated. Let me use that word. I'm kind of frustrated and discouraged on this issue of masturbation going on in this particular era that we live in. And let me just focus on something this day. I want to talk to Christians. Yeah, I want to talk to every Christians out there that is kind of facing masturbation as a challenge. If you are a Christian, you have given your life to Christ, and masturbation seems to be one of the things that weigh down your spiritual life. Can you pay attention to this? Can you just lend me your attention? Yeah, I'm speaking to you right now. Okay, I just want to tell you one reason. There are many reasons, but let's just focus on one reason today. One reason why you as a Christian, you see face masturbation as a challenge. Just one reason. It's because you are still conforming to the things of this world. Yeah, you got me right. You got me right. You are still conforming to the things of this world. When we talk about conformation, you are obedient, you are submitted, you are in love, your passion is directed to, alright? Yeah, that is that just it. You will see that your Christian life, your spiritual life is up today and tomorrow before you know it, you are down. It's like you are going up and down. That's not what Christ wants for you. According to Matthew 5 verse 14, the Bible says you are the light of the world. And moving down to the, the previous verse, 13, it said you are the salt of the earth. So you being a light, you being a salt means you have to be meaningful. You have to bring a plus on the table. And our mission as Christians is the world, not the four walls of the church. It is the world. Yes, it is the world. So you as a Christian still entangled and enslaved in the pit of masturbation, this is what you have to do. I've told you the reason why you are kind of a slave, kind of slave to masturbation is because you are still loving the things of this world. You are still submitted and subjected to the things of this world. Your desire for the fleshy things is still, is still alive. You haven't killed it. You haven't killed it. And the Bible, the Word of God is telling you not to conform to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind on a daily basis. If I ask you, when was the last time you had a true fellowship with the Holy Spirit? You won't be able to remember it. You won't be able to recall and that's kind of kind of not presentable to our God. So this is what you have to do. This is the solution to what you are looking for. Alright. So the Bible said according to the book of Romans chapter 2 verse 12 verse 2. I'm sorry for that. He said, do not be do not conform to the things of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Alright? That those according to Romans 8, verse 5, the Bible said those that are after the flesh follow the things of the flesh and those that are after the spirit mind the things of the spirit all right so if you want to overcome masturbation as a christian you need to change your focus what are you focusing on that application on your phone that is not allowing you to serve god that application that created that sexual urge in you that means you to be feeling honey i don't have anything to do please delete that application the bible said according to matthew it's in this eight that if it is your high, it is your foot, it is your end that will make you not to enter heaven. Pico, remove it, unplug it, cut them off. Cut them off. If it is your friends, if it is your association, if it is your environment that is not allowing you to serve God, that is contributing negatively to your sanity. Biko, cut them off. Cut them off. Let your consecration to God be valid. Let it be valid, alright? So this is what you have to do. 
this is what you have to do. Let your love for God be built. Create time, create time. Be disciplined, be disciplined. Be disciplined to your consecration to God. Create time for the meditation of the word of God. Create time. The Bible said according to Joshua 1 verse 8, that the word, this book of the Lord, should not depart from their mouth. The word of God should not depart from thy mouth. So before you process something, that is coming from you. So you need to invest the word of God in you day and night. So I'm obliging you. This is your life. And believe me, many lives are attached to you. If you keep playing, the devil will also keep destroying those lives that are attached to you. And you know what? You know what? You are going to be accountable to God on the last day. So in order for you not to be guilty of anything on the judgment day, I want you to start putting the necessary things in place. As a Christian, if you want to overcome masturbation, lighten up your fire. I was watching Evangelist Lawrence all your videos, I think last year. I was talking about how Christians, how Christian brothers are bowing down to the darkness of this world, to immorality. And he said, one of the things you need to do is to lighten up the fire and push it, push your fire. Push your fire, put the firewood in it, put more firewood, put it, put it, put it. Just keep putting your fire, lighting it up. And what you put in the pot, it will be prepared and done in a few minutes. So as a Christian, go ahead and lighten up your spiritual life back. God is with you and you know what? Your purity should be your priority because many of us are rooting for you. And that is God's delight. May God help you in Jesus' name. I still remain your dear brother, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. May God fortify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.